Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to download Sims from Patreon. So first thing you do is you go to a Patreon account. I'm using Clay Kim Sim because she has a lot of good material out there. Um, so you go to that page and you want to scroll all the way down until you see view more posts. Once you click that, it'll bring you to this page and then you can sort it by um, the filters and you go under tear and public. That'll show all of her free content that she has available. So I found this particular sim. I choose under the description, the CC link. You gotta download all three of those links. So I'm gonna start with the CC link and that'll be all of the files that has her clothes, her lashes, her makeup. And you wanna select all of these files and you download those. Once they're downloaded, they'll be placed in your downloads folder and you want to extract it. Make sure you have WinZip installed already and you will right click it and choose extract all. I uncheck this box just to avoid any pop-ups of um, the folder once it's done. But once it's completely extracted, you can delete that zipped folder. Now, once you go into that folder that you just extracted, it'll show all of the CC that you need and you select them all and cut and paste them into your mods folder. Once in your mods folder, they're all good to go and that CC will be available for any of your sims. You can go back to your downloads folder and delete that file because it's nothing in there. Now you go back to that page and you do the tray setting. Now this is the files that will be in your household bin. So you extract it just like before. Take those files and you're gonna put those in your tray folder this time, not your mods folder, you put them in your tray folder. You go back to that page and you do the last one. Um, that is the package file, which I believe is her skin. You just have to cut and paste that package file into the mods folder. Once you're back in your Sims 4 game, you wanna go into your library and on the left, make sure you filter your content so it's easier for you to find the Sim you just downloaded. Um, and that's just by choosing include custom content and under category you can switch it to households um, This particular sim is only one sim So I changed the size to one sim and there she is You can also search by the creator's name, which is play Kim But once you place your sim you can go into create a sim and it took me a while to realize that Some of the sims you download may not have every outfit available. I'm going to show you in the next clip like that. Yeah, um, so that means the creator didn't add all the other outfits that you know they need and that's okay Just make sure you edit that so they don't appear weird <laughs> so they don't appear weird in your game um, So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions